What's up guys, my name is Carmela and this is the Fempreneur Life channel on YouTube where I talk about budgeting and business related topics. Um, today I am stuffing some of my cash envelopes. Um, I do use the cash envelope system to budget my money and basically try to get my finances in order. Well, not try, it, it definitely is working to get my finances in order. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I definitely appreciate you watching my videos and subscribing to my channel because that's obviously something that you're gonna do while you're here. And give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Um, so I talked about it in my budget video for this paycheck that we're gonna talk about. Um, I talked about how it was a little bit less than I'm used to, which I kind of knew was going to happen because my hours were uh, less than I'm used to for that um, particular pay period. But um, basically, I'm not stuffing as many of my cash envelopes as I normally do. I kind of went easy um, when it came to um, like stuffing my sinking funds and my cash envelopes and whatnot. Uh, that'll probably change. Um, once I sort of, oh, I gotta stop saying, um, <laughs> um, that'll probably change when I see like how the weeks are going, but I do need to take my car to the shop. I need to get my tires rotated. They literally, um, sent me an email this morning, um, saying something about how I might need, uh, tires replaced soon. And I did check them after reading that email. And I do have one that probably does need to get replaced, but the other three are fine, which is really kind of weird. But uh, that's going to be something um, that I do have some money budgeted for in my car maintenance envelope. But I don't know how much it's going to cost me. And like I said, I need a tire rotation too. Oil changes are free. But I do, I definitely know I need tire rotation and like balance and air in it and all that stuff. So we will see how much that costs. But on the bright side, I, literally this morning I checked the website and I should be receiving my tax refund this week so that's another reason why I'm super hyped about getting the boxes because that means I'll be able to order the lashes soon I'm so excited but so freaking anxious anyway so uh anyway basically there's a lot going on like or that is going to be going on soon and I just can't wait I'm super excited but I just went to the bank and I got my cash out Literally, the probably the least amount of cash I've gotten out since I started doing this. I think I have some envelopes in this wallet. Let me see. Yeah, I got my beauty wallet. I mean, envelope and some coupons. I swipe from the PX. For um, I'm gonna hold on to them until there's like a sale, and then I can price match, and then I'll have the coupon. Cause it's a dollar off of one. So that's a really good deal when you have a boatload of hair. So this is also my food envelope that was in my wallet. And I got all the change out. There's a receipt in here. I'm gonna put these coupons back in here though. All right. So actually let me open up my budget over here to the side. And just while I am laying my money out, I'm going to go ahead and link to the Instagram page for my business, uh, for my lash brand. If you guys want to follow it, I, I would definitely appreciate it. Um, no pressure or anything like that, but I thought I would throw it out there in case anyone is interested because I know um, a lot of you guys are like super supportive and positive and things like that. And I know if I were you, I might be interested in it. So um, yeah, I'll leave that down below and I'll probably also have like a little graphic to where you can see um, the name of it and go check it out if you want to follow if you want to like share whatever just you know just do whatever you feel. It's all appreciated. So yeah, <laughs> I literally have like no money. I took out like $155 um, for this cash stuffing. So the first one I have here, I already gave my mom her rent money, so I'm not going to take that out uh, right now. So that is one thing. I know normally that's like literally the first thing I pull out, but I gave it to her already. So I'm going to put some money into my food envelope. There's already some in here, I think, which is like super rare. Oh, there's a dollar twenty-six in here. 
Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm going to put the change to the side. Keep that dollar in there. And I'm actually going to put 40 into my food envelope because I already spent 10. I had to stop and get some, like, chicken thighs and random stuff yesterday. So that's going in my food envelope. And I do have a video showing how I actually make these envelopes. I will link that in the cards too. So this is my beauty envelope. I am not putting anything in it right now, but I did spend some money out of it. I might add some money to this later because there's something I realized I need to buy, but I can't remember what it is right now. Um, so I have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27 dollars in there. In my car maintenance envelope, I actually am going to put some money in here. I'm only going to put $20 in this week, um, but I'm pretty sure I will be using this very soon. So I have 50, 100, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200, 205 dollars, and then I'm putting a 20 in here. And then that I will be taking to the Nissan dealership probably very soon. I have a few days off coming up, like four days off in a row. Um, so I'll probably go then. In my fun envelope, I have some money left over, which also never happens. <laughs> a whopping $7. So hooray for that. And into this, I am going to put a 20 and two 10s to make it 40 or I guess $47 and putting that in there. So that's cool. I never have money left over in there. For my phone envelope, I'm putting $25 into that because my phone bill is like 48 92 or something, something, something along those lines. Um, so I save like 25 and 25 each check. That way I can definitely cover it. I do have straight talk. I do kind of want to get a new phone. Oh, this one has popped open. I need to re-laminate it. Um, I do want to get a new phone, but it's really not like a necessity right now, obviously. I'm trying to start a business. I'm trying to get up at my mama's house. You know what I'm saying? And that's not why I'm starting the business because I started thinking about that. I'm like, you know, I'm not starting a business to get out of here it's more like a long-term thing and um you know I'm, it's not definitely not like a get rich quick type of situation like at all but it is it's more of a long-term investment that's the word i'm looking for so into my dog's envelope i'm not putting any money in but i do have 5 10 11 12 13 14 15 i do have 15 dollars in here which i'll probably ooh, which i'll probably be spending soon um, since I need to get some dog food, which is pretty much my responsibility because I, since I do live with my mom, they're kind of like our dogs. And um, so, yeah, I'm responsible for the food and she pays the medical bills, which is cool with me because if you have a dog, you know that that is expensive. So for fitness, I'm going to put $10 in here because I think I'm going to need some pre-workout soon and I need to get some collagen, I believe, because my knee's been cracking and popping like... It's not painful or anything like that, but I do notice that when I don't take the collagen, oh my God, I can hear it. Like even with my headphones on, I can feel it and I can hear it. Kind of like when you crack your knuckles, that's just what it feels like, but it's my knees. <laughs> so, you know, ain't no Megan the Stallion over here, but they still work, <laughs> but they, they just make a little bit of noise. So that'll give me 10, 15, 20. And then I have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I'll have 25 bucks in here. That's enough for some pre-workout. And I'll see if my mom wanna go half on some collagen because she uses it too. We, we have bad joints <laughs> in our family. For clothing, I'm not gonna put any money in here. I know I've said like five times that I need to get new work pants, but I still haven't gotten around to it yet. So I still have 20, 25, 30, 35, $40 in here. Um, when I have these days off, I will, uh, but sometimes I get so caught up like working on stuff, um, on my food blog and just generally being a human being and like spending time with people that love me. Um, 
I just don't get around to it, but I do still need some work pants. In my medical envelope, I have 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. I'm not gonna add any more to that yet. I will also be making a doctor's appointment soon. I'm not gonna put anything into home. My little awkward little stubby envelope. But I do have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22 dollars in it still. That's the same amount that I had in the last cash envelope video. But I might need to get like some laundry detergent too. And I want to buy some candles. I know I'm like being super random in this video and <laughs> rambling a lot. But I think I just had a whole cup of coffee, so I'm kind of like hyped up right now. Travel is not gonna get any money, at least right now. I might put some in later. Um, to save up for like trips and stuff. Five, 10, 20, 30, 50, 70, 90. I'm gonna put that around because that was like an awkward way to count that. That was, that could very easily get messed up. So I'm gonna put it like that. Here's my little remainder envelope. I don't think there's anything in here, but sometimes my leftovers. At the end of the week, I will put in there and then deposit back into the bank. I plan on doing a video where I show um, how exactly I use my cash envelopes um, in kind of like a vlog style. But I tried to do a vlog the other day and I'm going to retry it. Like I have these ideas for these vlogs, but I've never done one before. So I had no idea like how much work goes into it. Like it's insane, especially if you want to get like different angles and like actually make it interesting and like not super boring. Like, hey, I'm just talking to the camera and telling you about my day. Like I want it to like legit be interesting for you guys. And they are a shit ton of work. <laughs> like it's crazy. So that's something I'm still working on. But my last envelope that I'll be stuffing is my gas envelope. And I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, $20 to put in there. And I'll probably put this money in my tank probably like Monday of next week, like in a week or so basically. So yeah, that is it for this portion of the video. Um, it wasn't that bad. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add some more money because I'm really not trying to get my tax refund and like blow it on stuff but I do need to stock up on some things and I do um I am going to invest in my business and I'm going to pay some of it on the car insurance like that is my plan I have my little pile of change here and I'm going to put it in my little ooh, tea container that's heavy and crack that open and put this change in So there's that. I'm still not sure when I'm gonna cash it out, but I might do it like on my birthday or something, uh, which is in July. We'll see. I'm not 100% positive yet. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.